Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And Disney is pushing their diversity and inclusion initiative, and they want everyone to feel included, including the chimpanzees. Yes. So, <laughs> so there was an interview in D23 Magazine um, where this Jeffrey Epstein, not that Jeffrey <laughs> Epstein, like... apparently, um, was going to interview, I'm trying to remember his name, make sure I get it right, uh, Walt Disney World, Imag Walt Disney Imagineering, Creative Portfolio Executive Chris Beatty. That is a long title. I know, to get the details about the, the, the new Jungle Cruise um, things. And they confirmed some stuff we already thought. And um, they also brought some stuff into it that I could not stop laughing about for quite a while. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about this uh, again. We're gonna do an update on the Jungle Cruise for those of you who don't know. Disney is retheming the Jungle Cruise as part of their diversity and inclusion measures. They're going through the park and apparently auditing all of their old attractions, trying to find ones that are problematic. And for some reason, the Jungle Cruise is problematic. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that and how the chimpanzees will now feel included in the uh, Jungle Cruise. Yeah. But before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We do talk about Disney, we talk about movies, we talk about comics, anime, whatever interests us that day. And my God, uh, this is a train wreck. Yeah. So it interests us. It does. Now, first of all, I noticed that the monkeys are one-to-one -one with the people on the pole um, on this drawing. But, um, okay, in case you didn't see the last drawing... Apparently, the Jungle Cruise has been in trouble because all these people, according to LA Times, have been complaining about the cultural in insensitivity about the Jungle Cruise. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure some people did. Uh, a I don't think it's to the levels that they're saying. Yeah. But they're in, in their mission to go and change all these old attractions to be more in inclusive and everything else, they're making a change. Now, the first issue that was kind of worrisome is the fact that they're saying now that, if you go back to my article, I have it pulled up. They're saying now that when they're doing this attraction, that they are going to try to make it have a more of a story. So like before it was like the skippers telling jokes and stuff like that. So now they're trying to 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 make a storyline with an enhanced storyline. And they're going to have these different characters that are going to be in this in this attraction. And they each have their own enhanced storyline with their own story and cultural heritage. Uh, okay, because that's an awful lot to pack into a very short ride. Right. So, like, okay. the, they have the picture of the pole on here. There's the new pole. Before it was four men with the rhino and the hyena. Now we have five characters on this pole, and it's going to be this other like, skipper cruise ship that mm -hmm. had crashed, that you're, like, about like yours. And they have the, the, the skipper and each of these, these different people on the pole. Um, they have women on the pole now, and there's a black guy on the pole now, and we try to get diversity on the pole. Um, Everybody wants to wants to climb up that pole. This looks like the, the grease pole that uh, Squid King and I were talking about. That okay. one. Well, you need to explain for new people. Okay, so uh, we <laughs> complete side story here. Um, so we used to do festivals. I used to do caricatures at festivals. We'd sell stuff, and and one of the festivals we went to was kind of out in the middle of the woods. And they had a grease pole challenge where they would literally grease up the bare-chested uh, young boys and send them up the pole. And whoever could get to the top of the pole got the $10 bill on top of the pole. Uh, I think it was just a cheap way to get little boys to take their shirts off, but... I digress. Anyway, let's go back to this poll. So this is not the same kind of poll. No, no. Um, they, they draw the line at that. <laughs> um, but so you have these different people. Like there's a guy with the camera, a photographer. They, they have a list of what they are. There's a painter and all that. So then they go back to the story. So now the different characters are going to have, they have a bird watcher, an entomologist, a wildlife painter, and a photographer, and then the skipper. If you go up to this picture here, you can see like, oh, look, the monkey is, this chimpanzee is a the skipper. They're, oh, look, they're there's the entomologist chimpanzee with the butterflies and there's the, you know, one of the map and here's the painting one, you know, and stuff. So they have like that. They're, they're trying to mimic it with the chimps. Yeah. But, um, basically you're, you're the, the, the ship crashed, the chimps took over and stuff like that. So in the conversation, this is my, I love this part. So the Disney writer from D23, that's not the same Jeffrey Epstein, um, <laughs> asks the Imagineer guy this question. I feel like there is sometimes perhaps misplaced concern that when an attraction is reimagined, it's somehow not going to be as great as it was before. How do you address that? 
I mean, how more insulting can you be? Yeah, a lot of those Disney fans out there are bitching with their, but they're concerned about this, but they're just actually, you know, misplaced. They actually put this in here. Misplaced <sighs> concern. Well, I guess I can't say you're those dumbasses in, in, in the interview. No. Well, well, okay, so when they announced the changes to Pirates of the Caribbean at D23, they got booze. Mm hmm. Literally got booze from the crowd. So it's a damn good thing the pandemic happened. They're not announcing this at D23 mm -hmm. in person or they'd probably get booed. Right. But it's misplaced concern. Because misplaced if you have concern. any concern about anything changing, it's because you're just misguided and misplaced. It's because you, you need the magic of Disney to put you in your place. Uh, also misplaced concern. Splash Mountain, another, another attraction that is uh, being reimagined as part of this diversity and inclusion uh, uh, initiative at Disney. It's got way more signatures to keep the attraction as is than it had to change it. I mean, way more. And um, I guess that's just misplaced concern. Yeah, as I guess well. all just misplaced concern. Yeah. I thought that was just so insulting. But the answer to this question, um, you can go to the D23 article for it yourself. But in a nutshell, it was the skippers are going to be there to keep it fun and like the other the attraction. They have a diverse team looking at fixing diversity because of diversity. <laughs> and we respect animal culture. And I'm not kidding. So you, you think they can't go anymore, you know, over the top. No, no, they found a way. They said, hold my Dole Whip, the rum kind, and we have, we have gone further than this. Because chimpanzees are people too. Uh, they literally, okay, here's what they said. I tried to do that without laughing like I did yesterday. When introducing new elements, even animals, we make sure they're done in a respectful way. Okay. We reached out to Dr. Mark Penning and his team at Disney's Animal Kingdom and said, look, we have these chimpanzees that are coming into this new world and we want to have fun with them. How do you make sure it's done in an authentic way for the chimpanzees? Give me a moment. We have to have fun, but we're not making fun of the animals. His team has great insights and it really elevated that new scene. What? Exactly. This is... This is the Jungle Cruise. They literally make fun of everything. I know. I, I said, Cruise. have you ridden the attraction? Oh, wait. I said, because the whole point of the ride is not to make fun of anything. Oh, wait. Have you ridden the Jungle Cruise? Zebra's sleeping. They make fun of effing water. I, <sighs> this is going to be a disaster. I know. And, and so I'm like, but but it's okay. They are making sure that they... They take take care of diversity in all forms, including chimpanzee rights. Because uh, I'm like I put it on here. Plus, you're not making fun of the animals. So what? If you're gonna make fun of the anim anim the animatronic chimpanzees, they're gonna hop on the boat and tell you you're chimpophobe. Chimpophobic, because uh, chimpanzees are people too. Now look, I am 100% against too. animal cruelty. I'm 100%. Oh, I, yeah. I believe yeah. animals, you know, have feelings and rights and things like that. Um, in regard, especially to chimpanzees and animals that are very sentient in that kind of regard, but. They're animatronic chimps. Who are you going to offend? They're not exactly paying customers coming to the park. Now, did Michael Jackson take his chimp to Disneyland? Maybe he was allowed to. I don't know. He might have. Who he knows? He just built Disneyland in his backyard, and he took Bubbles for a ride on the roller coaster. Maybe that's why he did, because they wouldn't let Bubbles into the... Because... Because I mean, but you know, too, since they they're they're worried the about chimpanzee rights, I'm I'm really hoping that they have a new ticket for um, the chimp families that want to come to all um, the chimps that want to see themselves represented authentically in the Disney parks. Uh, meanwhile, you not know, just at the zoo. You know who's not being represented authentically? Ducks and Latinos. <laughs> yeah. Ducks and Latinos. Okay. Do you, do you want to explain this? Let me explain it. Uh, you can explain it. So at the end of the ride, it's in the Mexican pavilion, in the, in the pyramid, they have the Grand Fiesta tour with the three caballeros. Yes. And at the end of the ride, they have the animatronics. Then they put those in like what, like 10 years ago? It was like five years ago. It was, it was 20, longer ago 2015. Than that. Was it 2015? I it was thought it was longer ago than that. Yeah. Anyway, they add them to the end of the ride. Okay. So a couple, like last year, Jose, which is this one right here, he went down and he was like wop dancing on the ground. Like, it, I mean, he was, he was just like, you know, it looked like he was trying to hump the stage and they took him off and brought him back and fixed it. Now, a couple weeks ago, Donald suddenly disappeared and they had like a, a, a memorial with it for him. And then they just had flowers on the stage. 
<laughs> but Donald. Donald's dead, yeah, kids. Much. Donald Duck is dead. And all I can think of is where's Donald? Oh because my god! I'll explain a, where's Donald that's in a minute. Side story, yeah. So now um, they have gone and just put cardboard cutouts of the of the three caballeros at the end. They aren't even trying at this point. Um, I don't know if they're trying to fix all of them or get new ones. I'm guessing not because they don't have money. Epcot is sitting with a big hole in the middle of it. Yeah. Of construction hole, and they haven't fixed that. So, um, but that's okay. We don't have money to fix those things. But good news, we can take care of chimpanzee rights on the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, that's what blows my mind about this whole this whole thing with this diversity and inclusion initiative is they're changing attractions that a lot of people have not been complaining about. Very vocal minority of people have been complaining about. Meanwhile, they're laying off cast members. They're they're canceling attractions. They're shuttering attractions they're working on. They're replacing animatronics with freaking plywood cutouts. Right. But but they're gonna they're gonna make sure that the chimps feel good about themselves. That's right. Um now the worst Donald story real quick was because when we went to ride at one time, these people in front of us, and I'm sure if you've been to Disney or any amusement park, you run into people like this. They spent the entire time because they had a little kid going, Where's Donald? Where's Donald? To their kid over and over and over again. To the place that my kids, who were, that was like several years ago, so they were a lot mm. younger, were even getting flipping annoyed because they're like, are you effing kidding me? Well, they didn't say effing kidding me, but you know. <laughs> they're like, so now it's a running joke. If we're at Disney and somebody's being really obnoxious or something, all we do is look at each other and say, where's Donald? And we all know what we're talking. Yeah. We all know what the person's thinking. So anyway, back to the Jungle Cruise. So that's that. So the other part you did find out in the interview was they asked about the timeline. Well, they don't know. Sometime, hopefully, before the end of the year. Then they asked them about, are you putting the film in? IP from the film in? Mm. And, they, and people are like, oh, they're not. Well, they aren't, but they are, okay? Of course they are, because it's Disney. So the answer is yes and no, because they said that the, I'm sure the film is fantastic and we're very excited about it. But integrating the film into our classic Jungle Cruise is not part of this effort. Good. Does that mean as Imagineers we won't put Easter eggs in there? Oh, we'll definitely do that. But we're not made. We're not adding major characters or storyline from the film. So you're not putting a flipping animatronic in of the Rock, the Rock, or Emily Blunt. But we're definitely going to put stuff in from the movie. Yeah, I well, I see that you mentioned Johnny Depp, and that probably is. Part I think of that's reason. why. Like, I mean, who knows? You know, the Rock could be in a scandal or something someday, and it's like, oh crap, we just rebuilt the whole ride around. Him. Yeah, and then what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna Plus, do? you know, they cost money. Yeah, it's a lot easier to stick like a cardboard cutout or something, or a, a plywood cutout or something, on the on the, the attraction than it is to um you know yeah. do it in the animatronic because you have to you, they have all the money in those animatronics they're going to have there. What if it's just one big plywood cutout? I don't think it's going to be. Um, we're going to go all Kennywood on on Disney at this point. That's all they can afford. But they did say, <laughs> reason Kennywood's going to be better. What they did say was um, they are going to be the same now in Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Y- yeah, well, except they've got the they've got the uh, tunnel in Disney World that, w- which is interesting because during the the tunnel sequence when you're going through the um, the temple or whatever it is, the skipper doesn't talk. So well, they use the same script, but they they don't. said they're because I'm they said they're gonna make it the same. So I don't know how they're gonna pull that off unless it's the same story. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same story because the Disney World's actually is longer. And Disney World's is the better Jungle Cruise, in my personal opinion, because of I, I do like the temple. But it's kind of weird. It's like you're just going through the temple and it's like, oh look, there's tigers and there's a spider and there's some snakes and that doesn't really have anything to do with the rest of the ride but okay well well it's supposed to be going through all different rivers is what the point is but now they're taking that and turning it into a story narrative where you need to know about everybody's you know motivation and their culture and the background of these five characters because we made sure that not the chimps but the, the the pole that we were they were diverse people on the pole that the chimps are representing and they each had their own job so you need to know what their their their, their you know what motivates them and you know i think i made a joke in here I was. I, I You're not allowed to make jokes I, about I the Jungle Cruise. It's serious. It's I was serious. Proud of, where did I find out about it? Um, I'm trying to find out how it is about the short ride. I said, yeah, they're talking about this enhanced storyline. This is a short ride. And it's like, you know, it's like we they said the jokes are mostly told by the skippers. We don't need to know the backstory of each guy on the pole and where he's from and what their job is and if he likes long walks on the beach. And we don't need to know that. Because they're people too, just like the chimpanzees. Look at the funny, funny, you know, hippo. Don't let the hippo turn the boat over. Ha ha. Funny. Oh my God. Are they saying that the diverse people on the pole are monkeys that are doing stuff in the boat? 
No. Oh my those god. Are, those are their those are their, their chimpanzee uh you know reflections. Spirit animals. Yeah, that's right. Because each like they have these jobs and then the chimpanzees are mimicking it on the boat. Okay, so now we're gonna dump your ass off in the gift shop and you can buy plushies of all these chimps and get the little <laughs> accessories with them too. You probably will. You we joke, but No, they they're totally going to. They're gonna be like, oh my god, they're gonna sell the chimps across the way. And they're going to have like little maps and crap you can dress them up. But you know what up. they'll do? They'll be like, but for everyone you buy, $1 goes to saving the chimpanzees. Uh, you know, like they do that in the Animal Kingdom all the time. Oh, yeah. Buy a $45 plushy chimp made in China. And then we'll give a buck to like some nature conservation thing or something. Trust us. That's where it's going. Okay, next. Yeah. Next. I mean, they do. I mean, I'm, I'm going to say Disney does do a lot. They do. With, they do. I mean, if, I'm being fair. Disney does a lot, uh, especially in Animal Kingdom, with different conservation efforts and things. And, and I, I will not fault them for that because they do a really great job with that. And they put a lot of into it. They do it at Living Seas. It's actually being it works in partnership with different organizations and government, you know, places and stuff like that. So I won't fault them for that. But, yes, that's exactly what they'll do. <laughs> so these chimps are going to make bank. Well, we don't know that, but... It, they added people, but they reflected them on the chimps. And the only thing you've seen so far is that the new scene. The only new scene, scene that's new is this one. But he said there'll be a few, a couple, a few new scenes or something like that. And I'm like, well, the one with the pole is the same scene. They just added some people on it and the boat. So that doesn't that doesn't fill the whole ride. So you know damn well, like Trader Sam, I, you can kiss Trader Sam goodbye, guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah. Or he's gonna be completely reimagined. She. You know what? Trader we, Samantha. You know what? It wouldn't surprise me. That's only fair. It wouldn't surprise me. Or yeah. it'll be a chant one of the champs. There's room on the pole for everybody, guys. This Again, is, I want to point out the redhead looking one is at the top of the pole. She is the boss. Because that's where the redheads would be. That's right. On the top be. of the pole. Um, yeah, and we're going to make sure we have vegan lions. So they won't be, the vegan lions won't be eating the zebra. They'll be inviting the zebra. Uh, to celebrate with them, because oh yeah, because why the why do the chimpanzees have to be represented, but zebras are dead. <laughs> I mean that's a good point, you know. Come on, how dare they? I mean, where does it end? Is my point. It's like literally when I read that article, I was like, okay, maybe I can find something else about the attraction, and then I read that paragraph, and I was like, wait, I have to go write a story about this. Because they literally just went there and said that they talked to the, the experts at the Animal Kingdom to find out about, to make it authentic to the chimpanzees so that no one's making fun of them. Yeah. This is going to be a shit show. <laughs> like, this is, I, I'm sorry. Like the Jungle Cruise, the charm of the, the charm of the Jungle Cruise, I think, is that it hasn't aged well. The jokes are still corny. And it is kind of a, a, a walk back in time to old Disneyland. It definitely hasn't aged well compared to you know what you see at Animal Kingdom, but that's the charm. And now you're trying to make it quasi serious and have an environmental message and shit. It's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to. I work. mean, and I was Just I was all stop. like, you know, okay, nothing here is changing. It feels still feels authentic to the attraction until I read about. Each the, there's going to be a, well that not just that there's going to be a, a new storyline that's woven throughout. It's not just going to be the skippers now. It's going to be a whole story and all these characters have their d diversity and their ethnicity and their backgrounds all explained. I'm like, it's only a few minutes long. Nobody gives a shit, Disney. I know you're trying oh, look, to. Oh, there's a rhino sticking his horn up some guy's ass. Ha ha ha! It's funny. I don't need to know that he you know is married and he's from this country and that he enjoys you know whatever. The rhino. <laughs> no, the guy. Was oh, always... the guy. Okay, he had aspirations to be a proctologist. Now he just has an aspiration. <laughs> I'm sorry. His name is Reginald, <laughs> and uh, he tries to practice proctology when he can. Every once in a while, some hapless adventurers show up on his pole, and he is <laughs> like, "Hey, I believe in free medical for everybody. Let me give you an exam because <laughs> prostate cancer is very serious." <laughs> No, I'm serious. You need an exam right now. And the guy's like, no, no, no. And he's like, yes, I want, I'm just trying to save you from cancer. <laughs> why are you climbing the Why are you trying to get away from me? I just want to help you. Anyway. I can't. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be a shit show. Absolute shit show, I'm sure. Uh, and pirates, frankly, isn't as good with the redhead being a pirate. Uh, I think the lines are corny. Yeah, you really don't like it. See, to me, it's not that bad, but 
the line is stupid. It kind of just undoes, it, it really does undo the original. They went out of their way to make sure the line undoes it. And a hen for ten is dumb. Yeah. It's stupid. Now she's like, they want the rum. A buck for a clock. <laughs> no, it used to be a buck for a, but they changed that. Sucky, sucky five dollar? <laughs> I can't stop it, please. I, what are you talking about? I'm talking about sucking that rum bottle. What are you talking about? <laughs> This is never going to be like Disney. Oh serious. God. You're going to you're going to do this shit, but you got freaking cardboard cutouts in oh. Epcot. And your cast members, on a serious note, your cast members are your cast members are fucking starving. And you care about the backstory of of paper mache people on a pole. And chimpanzees. And chimpanzees. You care more about these chimps then you care about your people that you just kicked to the curb. I'm just saying, some of that money could probably be put to better use. Well, Nobody was asking for this. Beyond, but beyond that, better use money. Epcot is sitting with a giant hole in the middle because they had all these plans for it and they canceled it. So now my next question is when they do rebuild it, because they are working on it, and they get the, the you know, they get uh, Mouse Gear back open and they get cool, you know, um, Club Cool back open and all those things that are coming back. Oh, they had a big opening there for like different things. They're adding like that, that festival thing they were putting that what was they call that pavilion or whatever Hello. which is like like some garden tier thing Chia i never disc. liked it so i'm not upset stupid. they took it out but i'm like they had all this room plan for that now are they going to stick in their cardboard cutouts why bother re-theming spaceship earth just knock it down and put up a giant plywood ball it could fall on somebody just turn the whole thing into mini golf with a lot of little cutouts <laughs> Just, of diverse people. I you just, gotta make sure it's diverse people, but cardboard cuts. They have cheap. the money to do this and they have the money to, you know, to, to do stuff, you know, make changes and go to do Splash Mountain over again. Meanwhile, like Epcot sitting, like tore up and, and you put cardboard cutouts up at, at uh, the Grand Fiesta tour and they have their cast members needing a food pantry help. But you know, um, the chimpanzees at Z Lives matter. They do, uh, they do. Chimps are people too. They remember. are, and I and I and I love I love animals. Gosh, I love animals so much. So like when I say this, I'm not saying this because I'm just saying because they're chimpanzees, they're animatronic chimpanzees, and you know this is dumb. I uh, I don't even know. Take care of real chimpanzees instead. Yeah, take care of real chimps. Um, except for that one that ripped that woman's face off. That was horrifying. Was it a chimp? It was a chimp. It was a crazy chimp. They're not on. meant to be pets. No, chimps are people. They're not pets. That's they're right. not food either. Uh, don't do that. I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wrap this one up. Uh, please <laughs> like subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe only on OnlyFans. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you later. Bye.